Okay, who wants to see what happens when you put a card inlay into the back of a crystal? We've seen what happens when we put holographic film in. Um, and I did say I was going to try a load of other things. So let's, let's have a go. Um, I've already got some of the inlays cut out. Templates, backing pieces, whatever you want to call them. I'm just mixing up some resin. Now what I am going to do is what I should probably do with the, when I'm using the, well all things in the back of a mould like this, they tend to curl up and they either sink or they float wonky or they do something strange um, and very often I end up with bubbles trapped under them because your resin will degas naturally but if the bubbles can't get out, the bubbles can't get out. So I'm going to put this resin in and let it sit for probably an hour before I then pop the little piece of card in. I might even let it start to, you know, firm up, which may take an hour, it might take a bit longer, I don't know. We'll have to, we'll come on and I'll give it a poke every half an hour or so and see. But basically we've got our resin mixed up here ready um, and I've already made a right old mess here so I'm just going to chuck my stick down here. I've got several projects going on all around me as usual so <laughs> yeah I'm a bit struggling for space and I am making rather a mess and I've mixed up far too much resin. So there we go that is not quite at the top. It's close, but it's not quite. So I'm just going to leave that and I'm going to let that sit for quite a while before we go putting the little inlay in. OK, I think most of the bubbles have dropped out of this now. So I'm going to pop the little bit of card in. Now, this is just a little bit of perfectly ordinary mirror card that I've cut out with my Cricut machine. You could do it with scissors, of course. I've just got a bit lazy about these things. Now, if anybody wants the template for doing this, um, you're welcome. Just let me know and I'll give out the uh, link for it because I have made it publicly available on, on Cricut Design Space. Just remember, if you're, doing, if you're using an inlay that's going to be that way up, you're going to need to mirror it because um, I made the template originally for the um, holographic film, which can go up either way. So we're just pushing this in. I haven't got my gloves on, so I'm trying to be careful. Um, let's use a stick. Just going to push it down. I think most of the bubbles have gone out of it. So I'm going to push that down as far as it can go. I'm sure it'll lift up again anyway. But as you can see, the resin is working its way over the back. What I'll then do when it's settled is I'll put a top coat across the back to finish it off. I just wanted to make sure the card was effectively sealed in. So yeah, I will take a little bit of resin and top the mould up. But initially I'm just pushing it down just to get the resin to go over the top of it and to get it to make sure it's definitely sat properly onto the resin. Just tapping it a little bit, that'll help any bubbles that I might have trapped underneath find their way out. There we go, there's nothing more to do with that now for a while. Uh, I'm not worried if it lifts up slightly because, of course, there is that back coat to go on it still. So, there we are. We'll see how that looks when it comes to the demold. Well, the only thing I'll do now between now and when I see you again is just top that up. Don't need to video that and bore you with that bit because I'll literally just be pouring a bit more in once this has cured up some. See you later. Right then, who wants to see how this turns out? <laughs> As you can see, I backed it off. The card has stayed flat. Um, the resin's obviously permeated into the card in places. Uh, that shouldn't have too much of an effect. So let's see what's happened. Love the noise when these demold. Right, here we go. Ah, oh, yes. So it's made it shimmer. You can see the bits that haven't got the card behind them. There's not much. You could trim them off if you wanted. But yeah, look, that's a much more silvery silvery mould, um, silvery piece than it would have been without the card behind it. I really like that. That's subtle. 
but yeah you see the bits where the card isn't it's just clear and that's where you can see your difference isn't that nice so we have another way of backing crystals to make them sparkle that is as simple as anything now uh, thank you very much while i'm here thank you very much to all those who've been subscribing and supporting me um for those who've given me a super thanks recently as well that's a new thing to me and i've been absolutely made up to see some of those come in so thank you so much um, just wanted to say uh, that thank you just while well, I'm at that stage here I've just cleared 2,000 subscribers overnight as I make this video so thank you so so much everyone anybody who wants to subscribe buttons are down here as usual so the notification button that will help you to make sure you don't miss anything and if you give the video a thumbs up if you like this that would be absolutely marvellous thank you everyone and I will see you for the next video